once again. I trust that you all doing well and that um, things are going according to how they're supposed to be. Even though we know that we are in um, a very difficult situation whereby we are under lockdown. Anyway, I, I think that we are all managing in the best way that we know how. So, um, I want to, I want to pose a question to you so that we can start talking about it, so that we can find some answers, so that we can find some resolutions, so that we can find a way of how to navigate life, you know. Now here's the question. We are told that everything in life has got a it, it, it's got a it's got a position. Everything has got a purpose, and we we as as um, as a people or as a nation as individuals we have to find that purpose that we that we have that we've been called for or that we are des destined to 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 be you know to find. Now here's the question. You have tried doing so many things you have tried connecting with the right people networking with the right people you have tried praying you have tried fasting you've attended uh, seminars you've You've attended workshops on, on, on how to improve yourself, on how to find your purpose. I mean, name them. You, you, you have done it all. But there's still that void in your life. You're still feeling very empty. And the more emptier you become, the more lonely you become. The more sad you become, the more frustrated you become the more unhappy you become and you find that whatever it is that you do, you, you're really not being fulfilled. And as time goes, as time goes on or as time goes by, you realize that um, people now start to reject you. And the question is that you ask yourself, why are people rejecting me? What is it that I have done wrong? Because all that I'm trying to do is to become a better person. And you look back and you say, I used to do one, two, three, four. And I've stopped doing that. I stopped doing that because that was part of my destructive behavior. Or those are some of the things that I thought were not working for me. They were hurting other people in my life. I've stopped that. But I'm still unhappy. I have cut some people who would influence me negatively. I have stopped spending money unnecessary. I have I have stopped drinking. I've stopped um Smoking, I have, I mean, the, the list is, can be um, long. But all those things, all of those things, all those things that we, that society regards them as, 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 as negative, you, you, you have tried um, not doing. The more you try, the more effort you put, you're still feeling The question is, how do you find your purpose when everything that you have tried, everything that you are implementing, with all the advice that you have that, that you have received from your friends, from your pastor, from your counselor, from your therapist, 
from everyone who truly has um, good intentions for you. From everyone, family, colleagues, you name them, the list is long. But still, there is that void. What do you do? How do you move on? How do you... How do you not give up when everything is saying you should give up? How do you push? How do you move forward? How do you, how do you choose to, to continue fighting and looking and saying no to what this life is really bringing you? How do you turn your lemons into lemonade? How do you force yourself to wake up and to say, you know what? Today is a new day. It's better than yesterday. And I'm here and I'm alive. And I've got an opportunity of becoming a better person than I was yesterday. Because it can really be difficult. It can really be draining when you are trying everything that you can, but you are not getting the desired results. Well, I thought about it. And I think that sometimes we need to look within. Not sometimes, always. We need to look within us and start with the small things. Those small things start by saying or affirming And declaring who you are and what you want to be because I, I I understand and I believe in in what we speak is very strong what we speak tells a lot about who we are and where we are going so in that time of, of trouble in that time of of uncertainty speak to yourself Speak to your dry situations and give them life. You might not see the results now. You might not see them in the next couple of months. But I can promise you what you, de what you say, what you declare, what you affirm in your life is not in vain. Whatever that you see, whatever that you want to become will surely come to pass. And you will be surprised when you look back and say, oh my God, I don't believe this is where I've come from. But yes, I managed, I managed to achieve those things that I've always wanted to. And it all started with me believing myself, believing in myself and not allowing the negativity, not allowing the, the stagnation, not allowing the, the challenges to put me down. Yes, they were there, but they made me stronger. Yes, they were there and they made me appreciate myself more than I appreciate. That more than I gave myself credit. I mean, start by loving yourself. Tell yourself that you love yourself. Forgive yourself. Because one of the things that we fail not to do is we say we have forgiven others, but we fail to forgive ourselves. So learn how to forgive yourself for the mistakes that you have made. Release yourself from the burden that you carried because sometimes... We find ourselves carrying burdens that are not even ours. So start by forgiving yourself. Start by declaring that you love yourself. Start by appreciating yourself even more. Start talking positivity in, 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 your, own, in your own life. You know, declare that you're a winner. Declare and announce yourself that I am here and I am here to stay. Speak what you want to see in your life. And remember that there is God, the living God, the Almighty, who is the creator of the uncreated. And he's always there for us, even though at times we feel that, you know what, I'm not, I am not even feeling your presence. I, I, I feel like I'm alone. Always remember what Psalm 23 says. The Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. Even though I walk through the valley of darkness, the valley of death, you are always with me. And remember 
those challenges are there so that the word of God, the living word, can manifest in your life. Remember that whatever, whoever has to see God's glory manifest in your life. Remember that table that has been already laid for you? Oh my word. Just remember what your table has been laid and you're seated with your crown. You are seated with your success. You are seated within your success and never give up. Know that tomorrow is always a day. Know that today is always a day that is wrapped in your tomorrow. Your tomorrow, which is your success. Thank you very much for listening. And let us talk and see how we, we tackle this issue of finding our purpose in the midst of challenges and knowing where we're supposed to go. Thank you. Goodbye.